Uncle Bob. Oh, hello, Amber. So good to see you. Thanks, Uncle Bob. I came to help you with some farm work. <laughs> Thanks, Amber. There isn't a lot of work today. You can come in and have some freshly baked muffins. Wow! Sounds yummy. Let's go. The muffins are very delicious, Uncle. Thanks, Amber. Would you like to play a game? Oh, sure. What game is it? <laughs> First, finish the muffins, then you will see. Okay. Amber, this is a puzzle game. And this is a puzzle piece. There are many such pieces which you have to place in the correct order. If you do so, a beautiful picture will be formed. That sounds fun. But how do I place the pieces in order? Are there any rules? Oh yes. For that, you should know about number patterns. Mm, I know what are patterns. It is something which repeats in the same order, isn't it? Yes, you are right, Amber. But do you know what are number patterns? Mm, not sure. Okay. Patterns can be of two types. Repeating and growing. The number patterns are usually growing patterns. Okay. I will help you complete one puzzle. Then you must do the next one. So, let's start. This sheet has a clue to place these puzzle pieces in the proper order. Let's read it. So, So, we have to make a pattern using multiples of 10. But before we start arranging the pieces, can you tell me some multiples of 10? Oh, sure. The numbers like 10, 20, 30, 40 are multiples of 10. That's correct. Let's start arranging the pieces by placing the engine first. So, the first number is 40. For making a number pattern using multiples of 10, the next number is obtained by adding 10 to the previous number. On adding 10 to the number 40, we get the number 50. So, the next number is 50. On adding 10 to the number 50, we get the number 60. So the next number is 60. Amber, we are left with two more pieces. Can you try completing the puzzle? Oh, sure. Now, we add 10 to the number 60 and get the number 70. So, the next number is 70. And the last piece left has the number 80. The number 80 is obtained by adding 10 to the number 70. So, the complete number pattern is 40, 50, 60, 70 and 80. Good job, Amber. Let's try the...
so much fun, Uncle Bob. Oh yes, and you did a great job. Patterns are so much fun, aren't they? Let's go over the important points now. Patterns are something which repeat in the same order. Patterns can be repeating or growing. Usually, number patterns are growing patterns. Number patterns can be made using basic math operations. By now, I am sure you have understood what are number patterns. Oh yes, Uncle Bob. Good. Then are you ready for a small test? In this number pattern, some numbers are missing. The number pattern starts with the number 2. The next number is 4. First, we try to identify the pattern so that we can complete it. Let's check which number is added to the first number to get the second number. 2 is added to number 2 to get the number 4. So, for getting the next number, we have to add 2 to the number 4 and we get the number 6. For getting the last number, we add 2 to the previous number which is 8. And so we get the number 10. Can I try completing another pattern, uncle? Oh, sure. Try the next one. The first number in this pattern is 51. And the next number is 52. Here, the next number is obtained by adding 1 to the previous number or just by saying the next numbers. So, the number after 52 is 53 and the number after 53 is 54, thus completing the pattern. Brilliant, Amber! Now, you must be ready for another round of muffins, right? Absolutely right, Uncle. Patterns are so much fun, aren't they? Let's go over the important points now. For identifying the missing numbers in a pattern, first understand the pattern. Then apply that method to complete it.